Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your viewerships, your confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in this planet. I must say, I am delighted. Is, it, is that a word? Did I say it right? I don't know, shit. I don't know. I've been drinking that green tea, boy. There's a lot of stuff coming out of me, okay? Hey, that last reading, boy, that was a shucky ducky quack quack right there, baby. Make sure to check it out if you haven't already. I'm trying to get these readings out. You know, I myself, I have to face obstacles daily and uh, self-defeatist behavior, right? But how could I be a leader if I do not uh, tackle these issues um, so I know how to dress them, right? So I do want to say I appreciate all of you that have assisted me on my journey, <laughs> knowingly and unknowingly. I appreciate you, okay? We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. Seven of Scarabs. Somebody's looking at their investment, okay? It's, this is this is a bountiful, plentiful investment. Some of you could be harvesters, okay? Maybe you're doing some gardening, planting, or things of that sort. I'm hearing something about a farmer's market, I don't know if you're going to a farmer's market or if you're preparing to go to one. Too many cards, Spirit. Let's get this reading. Either show me what it is I need to see. Be mindful of who, what energy you connect with and also what energy you decide to um, purchase uh, fruits and vegetables from and things of that sort. Because, you know, if you are empath, then that energy is transferred to you. So... You know, one thing that I love to do is I love to pray over my food, okay? I pray I pray do everything. See, I've learned to pray and ask for, for guidance because I'm humbled every day. And I've been humbled through all this, uh, the, throughout the spiritual journey, these spiritual attacks, okay? So we have our set, the sorceress, okay? So some there's some sort of offering here, okay? A new beginning here. But someone's trying to combat your manifestations. You could be going up against a sorceress, a high priestess, all right? This person may call themselves Offset, or you may align with Offset or Isis, okay? With the five of swords, somebody being very petty here, okay? Somebody may have won a fight against <laughs> a sorceress by being petty, okay? You know, and no... Uh, no judgment here. We got the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you you turned your back towards this um, sorceress here. With the King of Scarabs, somebody's focusing on your finances, it looks like, okay? So we have the Fool. Yeah, somebody made a foolish mistake by going up against you. That's just period, point blank. And we have the War of Scarabs. Somebody's coming back feeling defeated. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, seven of swords. Somebody's deceptive. Somebody could be stealing from work or stealing your work here with the eight of skeptics here and the eight of ox. Okay. So, yeah, somebody's having to walk away from something that they once felt was wish fulfillment. All right. Let's see. I have to get these readings out pretty quickly because some of you know, some of you don't know that I'm having network issues. I know that, that this is not just something that is geared towards me. A lot of us are going through this, okay? I'm here just a part of a part of, uh, of ascension, and there's also some manipulation going on with the networks, okay? This is something that's out of our control. Those that know that know, they know. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, competition. Yeah. So this is somebody trying to compete for competition. They're willing to do anything. Uh, they're willing to go by any means necessary here, okay? Damn, I just started seeing orbs, y'all. Okay? So somebody's trying to put some sort of illusion around you. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of communication. And I believe that is why... I am, I'm experiencing network issues. Certain people are trying to communicate with me, and my guys just ain't having that, okay? So, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So, somebody was trying to compete with you about your generational wealth, your legacy, your ancestors, okay? So, some of you, you may have gotten had to get petty with this person, okay? Meet them at their level. But um, I heard that there was an empty victory because whoever legacy this is surrounding, you can't steal someone's legacy. I don't care how much sorcery you do, Okay? 
at, at this point, you, you're pretty much taking your own self out, trying to come up against someone that is in their calling here, okay? Yeah, I feel like whoever the sorceress is, they have people confronting them, possibly clients, okay? Some of these clients are realizing they had sorcery put on them and it's pissing them off, okay? I feel like whoever the sorceress is, it could be a reader, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be, you know, a WhatsApp type of individual, okay? Uh, someone that you don't know. For some of you, somebody's over uh, overseas, okay? And so what's happening with this person is they are, some of, some of these people are getting robbed. Okay, they're getting beat up, random, randomly hit with all type of different energies here. We have the Knight of Cups with the King of Swords. Somebody wants to come in and uh, I'm hearing bait you. Okay, they want to bait you because of your wealth. They see this abundance around you right now. This is very petty. But you're going to you're gonna notice this and knock it out very clearly because this is a cycle that you've already completed. This is somebody that did take accountability or responsibility for their actions and what they partook in um, because of money here. Okay, somebody could have chose to go with someone else because of their status. Okay, and they're being judged by that. I feel like this person is losing everything. Somebody, you know, there's an empty victory because somebody wanted to war with you, okay? And they can't war with somebody about their own shit. Yeah, this person was stubborn and headstrong. Why is the king of scarabs here? For some of you, this is a younger individual, especially if you're a masculine watching this. The six of swords, you move forward. You move forward towards this petty competition that somebody put you in. In the last reading, I picked up on somebody that went to a healer or somebody that uh, claimed to be a healer, okay, um, or did some sort of divination work on whoever this king of scarabs is, okay? I feel like this person uh, may have confronted this sorceress here about the spell that they put on them because it was a dip definitely a spell with the fool card here somebody made a foolish mistake they took a leap of faith and they flopped why is the fool card here yeah <laughs> this is clarification for somebody okay somebody has also uh been tapping into their elders to their ancestors okay horus may be significant for some of you all right that could be a name I don't know why I heard street. Is there a horror street? Or horror on your street? There's some, maybe horror on your street here, okay? With um, with this uh, Ace of Swords here, okay? Why is the warrior of scarabs here? Yeah, somebody's unemployed here. Are they about to be? Okay. Yeah, let me get some more with the Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody's about to be unemployed. Okay, somebody that was causing a lot of illusions here, okay? This person may have felt like they was making steady progress. This is somebody that keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. This could be somebody that's on a platform, okay? This person could be blocked from you. This person may have blocked you and, and they talk about you here. They spread some sort of illusion. This person is very petty, okay? This person is somebody that was in secret competition with you, and they were collaborating with three or more people. All of these individuals are facing judgment with the Ten of Swords, okay? They're having migraine, headaches, and stuff, especially if they were trying to program crystals uh, around you and things like, you, say, you know, say if you have a platform, this person may come to your channel and focus on certain things that may sit on your table, okay? Now they're experiencing some sort of haunting here okay with the temperance being here yeah this is definitely haunting okay them archangels is whooping somebody ass here look at this seven of swords look at this nine of pentacles somebody didn't want to be single or they wanted to keep you single okay but you are somebody that's balanced you really don't give a damn about having a male or a female <laughs> all right but i do feel like you have a lot of people from your past that are a deep regret because they see you shine and they want a part of that okay yeah with the two of cups yeah, somebody's wishing that they chose you, 
Mm -hmm. But you move forward. This person could have went back to somebody from their past here. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Cups and the Chariot. They definitely went back to somebody of their past. This was a lesson that this person had to learn. I feel like they had to close um, a chapter here. Okay? Somebody, somebody that is coming towards you is also going through this, okay? I'm hearing your divine counterpart and I'm also hearing divine timing with the Knave of Wands. This person could have went back to somebody for uh, sex purposes, okay? I feel like they signed some sort of document when they went back to this person. Look at this, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could have promised somebody some money, okay? And it was all a setup with the devil being here next to the eight of pentacles. Somebody was promised some sort of prosperity, possibly by spiritually attacking you or uh, this high priestess could have told someone, you know, you know, gave somebody the false information. OK, somebody was purely focused on finances when they made this decision. And now they're in deep regret. We have the seven of swords. OK. Somebody, I feel like somebody stole something from work or somebody stole your work here. Okay. Yeah. With the eight of cups, if, if this is somebody that chose uh, someone over you strictly for financial purpose, this person was a thief. Okay. Um, this person could have stole from you. So energy time. And they gave it to someone that was unworthy, possibly the sorceress energy, somebody that was masking themselves as royalty. Okay, sugar-coated shit. What do we need to know about this five of wands energy? Yeah, somebody is disappointed because they wasn't able to get some sort of gift from you. No bad vibes. Look at this. Yeah, so somebody definitely confronted this sorceress, okay? Because they was throwing shade. Disoriented disoriented somebody could be disoriented distorted energy no clear direction wrong info lies disconnect family trauma caused by someone close a scam so they realizing that this person was hurt was hexing them here this person was in secret competition or whoever this emperor is okay i feel like they, if they connected with this sorceress they had a fall from grace things wasn't adding up here because they didn't know what they were doing this person I'm hearing that reading that idea of hexing while you're sexing. This person had no idea what they were doing, okay? What they were attempting to do was trying to bait this person, okay? They wanted this person to trust them and not trust you. This person lacked a clarity from you, possibly from some sort of... They lacked clarity about you because of some sort of illusion that was placed around you. Maybe you had a lot of people gossiping about you. Or maybe this person just had a lot of karmic debt with a lot of different witches. Yeah, this person wasn't able to see clearly. I feel like this person tapped into your energy um, energetically. For some of you, this may be like a, a male and a female here. Somebody didn't want you to be involved with your person. They didn't want somebody to see clearly. Uh, for some of you, this this is this Knight of Cups, Okay. They was involved with whoever this emperor is that fell from grace. They could have been lying on you and they're receiving some sort of judgment here. This is somebody that you walked away from. This could have been a friend of a friend I'm hearing with the queen of swords here. You turned your back here, but somebody was focusing on somebody's finances, possibly yours. I feel like your ex person, I'm hearing a, a false flame. But this person was focused on finances, okay, and building with somebody else, okay? So, yeah, it says don't ruin a good today by thinking about a bad yesterday. Let it go. So, this person didn't want to confront you. They may have even ghosted you uh, because you were into divination. For some of you, this person didn't tell you they were married. What is this nine of cups here? Oh, okay. Somebody can stay in the east, okay? But you're definitely in your north node or this person was guided by someone here. Yeah, some, yeah. somebody was telling this person not to move towards you, possibly that they would, that you would come towards them. And it was because this person was patronizing their business here. This person only wanted uh, this individual's money. And I'm hearing time and energy because they were dealing with an energy vampire. Make sure to check out that last reading. Okay. Somebody can stay on the east side. Okay, you can stay in the west side. This is interesting. Somebody was only in it for pleasure. Somebody was greedy. Yeah, I feel like they were sleeping with whoever 
this uh, sorceress is, okay? Or a sorceress was sleeping with someone, oh, child. Okay, what I'm getting is a sorceress was sleeping with whoever this emperor in reverse was going to for healing, okay? So it was definitely a setup and a plot here. All right, there could have been a Sagittarius that was given false information. So whoever this emperor is in reverse, they didn't want to stand up for themselves, okay? This is somebody that, you know, they come in real quick. They may buy you little gifts or things of that sort. But some of you, this person didn't buy you shit, okay? They could have bought the sorcerer's things, okay? And spent a lot of time and energy with this person. So you cut them off. Why is the queen of swords here? Sorry for the rushing. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> make sure to check out that last reading so somebody went to the crossroads okay monday is the crossroads where i'm at okay uh somebody tried to do some psychic attack on you or on this person that shit was cut out with the queen of swords okay so now it's when this person thinks about you it's like okay this is what i'm getting this person knows okay that they have some sort of karma from what they did to you you turned your back, even if their karma was you turning their back, turning your back and clearing out what no longer serves you. So now this person is all in their head because they were greedy here. OK, this is somebody that wanted to get around. All right. This is somebody that felt like they could have anybody or have you whenever they wanted. But this person didn't do no. They didn't spend no time, energy, or money with you. They gave it to people that were low vibrational, okay? Look at these, all these different peoples. All these different people. Friends, family, lovers, okay? There was definitely a fight here. The elect ones on the throne of glory. Open your eyes and recognize. So this person... Okay? So this person was possibly doing, um, like... You know, swingers, threesomes, and this and that, okay? With somebody that they chose over you, they didn't recognize that this person was actually a lesbian or they like women more. They like to take a calculated risk here. This is somebody that was watching your readings if you are reading or they watch collective readings here. Somebody's watching collective readings, okay? So this person didn't realize that this person was watching you, okay? Doing some sort of ritual trying to get you to be a part of their little sexual escapade. Okay, look at the man. They thought they were the man and everybody wanted them, him. Okay, uh, however, this person just wanted to have sex. They they attracted somebody that was on the same level as them. Okay, so if this person, okay, say they may, you know, wanted to make you feel less than. Then they attracted somebody that made them feel the same way, okay? They also attracted someone that was, if this is a male, they're into women more than they are men. And because this person is so self-absorbent, they're just so cocky and arrogant, they couldn't see it, okay? They thought that this person was having threesomes, you know, to make them happy, who is this king of scarabs? This is this is somebody that was only focusing on finances or being used for finances. I'm being I'm being guided that this king of scarabs is this uh, emperor. They got knocked down a peg, okay? Because this person refused to move forward here. Now they can't move forward, and it's because they got themselves stuck with a witch here. Skill manipulation, mind fuck, bad advice, but I'll just tell you. There's no safe passage for this person. They keep running into obstacles, okay? Somebody needs to cut off people, places, and things that no longer serve them with the fool card. It could be an Aquarius that they need to cut off, okay? Someone from their past. I also heard a child's mother and a child's father, okay? So, yeah, this person left you to heal by your, by your own loathsome. All right, now they're in deep regret. We got the you don't miss the water until your well runs dry. No fear, no doubt. You had to do all of this on your own, okay? Some of you, you you, you know, you could have had a nervous breakdown, okay? You had to reset yourself. Some of you, this person, or many people, multiple people, was pulling on your energy, and you couldn't, you couldn't sleep, or, you know, you had a nervous breakdown. You had to learn how to control yourself. If this is you, I'm, gonna be, I'm being guided to let you know. 
if you're going through this right now, that you need to take a moment and step back, okay? Uh, do your cleansing rituals. Look them up because I can give them to you all day, but that does not mean anything. You have to do the work, and that's a part of it, okay? Somebody doesn't feel at home in their own home, all right? This person... <sighs> had a chance to tell you maybe they seen someone doing some sort of ritual on you okay because we got someone confronts an antagonist or, or or villain tell the story from your own point of view all right so this person you know they knew that somebody was doing something towards you but they didn't speak up okay and this karma surrounding knowing things that are going wrong and not speaking up i spoke about that in my last, um, you know, well, the last four readings somewhere along the line, if you, you know, interested, check those readings out. Somebody didn't want to let go of what no longer serves them. Okay. This negative energy, negative thinking, this person was, a, a manifester in a way that, um, they had strong, they had a strong mind. You may see this person wandering off if you, if you know who this is, they may wander off a lot, okay? A daydreamer is what I'm getting. The fool in reverse. Either somebody needed to cut out a foolish behavior or a foolish person, okay? So look at this. For some of you, this is a male, okay? Uh, for others of you, this is a female that has like an incubus entity attached to them. That's why they like women, Okay, so somebody's getting some sort of clarity through a reading or somebody got some clarity through a reading. All right, I feel like if this person was trying to tap into your Wi-Fi or into your computer or something like that, your phone, they're not able to do that anymore. Look, playing in your face. So somebody got some clarity about somebody playing in their face. That's just period, point blank. A new phase of life, mindset, career, direction, or upgrade. Okay, so you're being guided to let this person go. Whether it's male or female. Anything else about playing in your face? Ooh, shit. We got put them in it. All right, that's a pretty big trunk on the Lincoln Town car, ain't it? Big enough to take these broken hearts and put them in it, honey child. Let me tell you, you're dealing with a player, player from the hill of Himalaya. And I feel like you know that. I feel like some of you, you know, if you're a male watching this, you're dealing with a player at. All right. And she don't give, she don't get two shits, two fucks about you. And that's the karma you had to learn to not judge books by its judge books by their cover. Because a lot of times you end up with sugar-coated shit. Okay. Warrior of Scarabs in reverse. There's no victory. Somebody got defeated. Uh, you know, or they feel defeated because you move forward. Yep, we got test, a pre-trip, endorsements, and fingerprinting. So somebody's having problems moving forward here. Okay. I heard secret opponent. This person could be in debt. Okay. This person lacks confidence here. Okay, they may have tried to usurp your conf your confidence and put illusions here, obstacles here. Okay, this is somebody that's very cocky. They thought they can get whoever and, and, and whoever they wanted, honey. But they was under some sort of illusion. Warrior scarabs here. Mm -hmm, I know about you. Interesting. This is coming up on, on, the, on the upside. Your work. Child, y'all hear that? Your worth shouldn't be determined by who you have by your side. Amen. Ra. Effortless grace. You are the light of this world. Ch Ooh, we there. So I know they know. I, I, I know about you. And I said, this person is finding out. Whoever this man is is finding out that this person knew about you the whole time. That's why they did illusions to keep you from progressing and moving forward. This person may have even said, oh, that's a bro. Because I'm hearing that's a broke big. That's a broke big. They only want you for their money. Okay. And of course, this is sugar coated shit. So this would be with somebody that spends all their money on their outside appearance. For some of you, this person didn't have a home and they even moved this person into a home. They could have met this person at a function and they were drinking here. You see this? They were drinking something and somebody slipped something in. 
somebody's drink. Now it was this was at a birthday. This is some somebody that met somebody at a birthday party or they went to a birthday party. Child, I'm hearing that this person was was supposed to go on a date with you or come see you, and they end up going to a party and ended up meeting up with this sorceress. Seven of Cups, child, they be this feels feels effortless. One is radical forgiveness, unconditional love, high vi high vibration love. <laughs> Pretend it's a plan. Ooh, so I'm telling you somewhere, somebody was working with, we, we talked about that, with another masculine to defeat your masculine here. Or your karmic false flame for some of you. Smiling faces tell lies, shall Gang laws, DNA collection, 290 PC. Workmen, plantations, and traveling. Okay. So somebody's definitely being investigated for some sort of gang stalking or some involvement in a gang, honey. And when I did a reading where it said, what's in the trunk, baby? I don't know. Some Somebody could get pulled over and something be found in the trunk. All right. Yeah, somebody's on the run. We have even in my darkest hours, I still don't want your ass. And somebody is mad as hell. So we have Vendetta. A family feud over a murder or the murderer's family. Ten years or more. Confrontation, action, and war. So somebody's definitely realizing that somebody could have passed here because of whoever the sorceress is that this emperor reverse is dealing with. And I'm being guided to leave it there. Deuces.